Oh, it's your boy Killer, but welcome to today's video. <laughs> so I'm just in the DIY shop right now. I'm just walking around with sort of these huge boxes. And I just like come up with this idea. Human mail challenge part two. The first time I mailed myself in a box via the postal system to my own house. This time I'm going to be shipping myself in the sea and see where I end up. This is the biggest box that they do. Don't know if I'm going to fit in. Can't fit in. So my idea is to buy two of them. As we did with the last box. Yeah, I have to make my own on the last one too. We can get some screws in there, and this should be big enough for me to squeeze in. We'll go to the beach, get in this thing, just go out to sea and see where we go. You know you can die. <sighs> I can't help you then. We'll think about that later. I'm gonna go buy these boxes and then we'll, <laughs> and then we'll do some more. Let's go buy these boxes. I've been trying to think of like the best way to hold them together but from the inside so I can open them on the outside when I need to. Maybe getting some of these. We can strap one of them to the top box, one of them to the bottom box and like hook it together. So then when I'm on the inside, if I ever need to, I can just cut the things, boom, open. That should be good. And then on the outside, Moon can do duct tape all the way around to stop the leaks and stuff. I think we've got it. I think I need one of these just in case something happens. You know, I can blow this up while I'm out there. We've got like a safety raft. And I also saw this. I can fill my water in here. I think it expands with the more water you put in. So uh, that's my drinking water sorted. So we've got safety, we've got water. I need to go get some food. I'm thinking like them protein bars, they're light, but they fill you real quick, so we'll get some of them. And there's something else we need as well. A bit gross, but I think we need them. So <laughs> I'll show you them when we find them. So here's the protein bar things. We'll look for the ones with like the most calories and stuff to keep you going. I think I'm just gonna buy a full box of 12. The, the embarrassing one. It's like adult diapers or nappies, because I don't know how long I'm gonna be there. Quick, quick. <laughs> The box is all ready, the silicon is set, I've screwed all the things on that I need. I've got everything else I need in the boot. I can't think of anything else that I need. I was up late last night trying to think of what I needed and I didn't get much sleep. So I'm too tired. Nervous. I'm real nervous, yeah, definitely. So as soon as we go, I'll get everything out of the car, show you everything that I've done, and then it's time to launch. So I'll see you soon. So we're here, we're here. <laughs> we're in Dover, which is the south east of England. So the reason I've chose Dover is because there's lots of countries around. you got like France, Belgium, the Netherlands, all around this area. So if anything bad does actually happen, say I drift too far away, we've got countries at the other side that I can land on. Whereas if I set up from the west of England, it's the Atlantic Ocean, America's like a million miles away, I'm pretty much dead. So it's just like a little backup plan. That's the idea behind it. So the idea is just to set off from here and see where we go. I think I might just like drift a few miles away, end up in like a, a town or a city or something somewhere in the UK. Just, in the, just at the same place. Yeah, you know, or maybe <laughs> back to the same back. place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just want to see where I end up. So yeah, that's the plan, just to see where we float, where we end up. So as soon as we've done it, Mum's getting in the car, she's driving off home. I'm not allowed to take my phone with me, my proper camera or anything like that. All I can take is my GoPro, cause that's waterproof. If I start taking phones and stuff, we get leaks and things, electrical things are gonna be dead. So I can't have anything like that. I can't take cash. I'm gonna be taking a bank card with me. So wherever I end up, I can get cash out to make phone calls, to get trains home, buses, whatever it takes to get back home. That's the plan. So if you look around right now, we're literally just there. There it is. There is the ocean. It's literally just there. Just down that little hill, there's the beach. And we go get the things out of the car. I'll show you I've siliconed everything up. So you can see I've screwed the brackets here. And where the screws have popped through, I've got silicon on there to make sure no water can leak in anywhere in any little holes. When I'm in there, I'll tell you everything I've brought with me. I've got like a rucksack full of things. I've got drinks and stuff. So anyway, let's go. We need to go. Let's go and do this. Right, so I've got my GoPro here set up. This is how I'm going to be recording from the inside. The moon's going to record putting the lid on from the outside and the duct tape. And then I'm just sitting and waiting for the tide to come and take me away. Okay, I'm just saying this now. This is my responsibility. Anything that happens is on my back. Completely my idea. I wanted to do this. Okay, there's the duct tape. 
Oh god, right, I'm just gonna put my torch on because it's a little bit dark. There we go. I don't know if that made any difference. Oh, the tie wraps are too big. I've got these latches to hold the top on, and I've got the tie wraps to tie it together, but the tie wraps are too thick. I did not check. Use shoelaces. I'm gonna have to literally just take my shoelace off and use that. Oh, the tide's coming close. Oh, the tide's coming. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh, it's coming quick. I'm gonna be a while taking these shoelaces off. Okay, so I'm putting my shoelace through now. Hopefully it'll reach both at the same, so I can, yeah, there we go, yes. Now the other one. I've strapped up with shoelaces, one on each side. Now the duct tape, I think it's best if I use duct tape on the inside as well. Oh God, I'm actually in the water. Jesus Christ. So duct tape all the way around it, and I duct tape them hold as you told me to. Just in case anything bad happens, I've got a safety rope. Once I've let go of the safety rope, I'm out. But the safety rope is just a precaution if I need to come back if anything goes wrong. I'm going to be making a hole. It might stab you if you close. Oh, oh. This is solid. There we go. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Final touch before we set off. I'm just going to run around the inside here with duct tape around these lines. And then we are completely, fully watertight. I'm going to have to put the camera down though because I can't do this one-handed. I did not agree to this. All right, so I'm tipping you over then. God's sake. Oh, you have it. It was so hard to duct tape in here while I'm in here. It was crazy, but this is just like extra security. We fully duct taped from the outside. We sealed up with silicone, and then we've got these things to keep it together. And then this is just like extra, just to make sure water doesn't get in. That's all. I've literally been in here like half an hour, and we're already. It's already getting hot and sweaty in here. We're steaming up. I've just been waiting for the tide to come and take me away. I think we're just about there. It's just taking us. Just gonna sit now and wait until we're at the end of the rope. See if we're all good to go. And then if we are, we'll push the rope through. Hi. Oh, for God's sake. Then we're coming back. So I think it's time. We're actually in the ocean right now. The rope is at its end, so I can't see any leaks here. We're all good to go, so I'm going to push the rope through. Yeah. And that's it. Gone. We're free. This is scary. This is scary. Oh, God. I didn't... That's it, I'm floating. What have I done? There's not really much I can film. I mean, it's just me in here. I'm actually wearing the adult diapers right now. There it is. The adult nappy things. I can actually like do my business in the under layer, rip that out, and then I've got a fresh layer. Do my business in that, rip that out. I've got two layers to go through. I've got everything you saw earlier that I bought from the shop, the blow up thing, the food, the water. I brought my torch, obviously I'm using that now. I've got the big bowl of water. I've got a fidget spinner just to keep me entertained. I can't bring any technology. Oh, and I brought a cup. So I don't have to keep putting my mouth to the nozzle of the water thing. I can just use a cup and that is literally pretty much it oh and the knife to get out for now i'm just gonna live just chill out try not to puke i hope i don't get seasick <laughs> i didn't think of that it's already my belly's feeling a bit weird right now i'll keep you updated with anything that happens and uh i'll see you soon i found a good place to lean you upon i got my torch wedged in oh it's really good look at this look look look, look at this was steaming up so bad even the torch is steamed up inside I think it's been a couple hours since we last spoke. I've had two protein bar things. I bought a pack of 12, so I've got 10 left. Just been chilling, drinking water. It's hard to drink in here though. Because I'm bored, I'm just eating food and drinking. I shouldn't be. I should try to save it just in case. So far, weather seems good. I can't hear any rain or anything. It's not too wavy, which is good. Really, really boring, really boring. There's nothing for me to show you. It's just really, really boring in here. I don't know what time it is. I literally, it feels like two hours. Maybe it's just been 20 minutes, I don't know. I think it's night time. It's been so long. It's been so long. I'm so bored. It's just sending me crazy. Just in here, nothing to do. It's sending me crazy. I think it's night time. The only reason I think it's night time is because when I turn my torch off, 
it's completely dark absolutely no light whatsoever you could just hear the water you could just hear the sound of the water around you it's just it's this is like another level kind of challenge this is just this isn't just any ordinary challenge this is just next level it's mentally and physically challenging i don't want to move too much in case i disturb the, the seal the seal around the box i don't want to get leaks obviously if we start getting leaks then we're doomed <laughs> I actually need a wee. I've drank so much, so I'm gonna put these uh, adult diapers or nappies, whatever, to the test. This is gross as hell. Here we go. Oh god, <laughs> it feels so nice, but so awkward at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and rip this thing off now. I think you just like tear this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna put that over there. One of those left, so I'm gonna have to wait till I'm desperate for a wee. <sighs> getting tired. I'm getting so tired now. I haven't got a clue what time it is. It's still dark. If I had to guess, I'd say like maybe it's 2 3 a.m., like 12 hours since I set off. That's just a guess. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Keep drinking, keep eating. I've, I've, I've literally eaten about half of my bars over here. Just from boredom. Not because I'm hungry, just from boredom. I'm halfway down them. I'm like three quarters of the way down my water here. Because just like I said, boredom. I just keep eating and drinking. I'm going to sleep anyway, so I'll see you tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's the next day. Because when I turn my torch off now... We got a little bit of light coming in. I didn't sleep well at all. Just keep waking up every half an hour. I mean, I can't hear anything. It's just complete silence except for all the water, and it's driving me crazy. Have a breakfast bar, breakfast cereal bar, and some water. Just play with my spinner, I guess. That's all I can do. It's so sweaty in here. Oh, I hope we land somewhere real soon. This is just stupid. It's the stupidest thing I ever did. Ah, I just had a leak. I can't believe it. It was scary as hell. I got a little bit of duct tape left. I just timed it to patch it up. We've got water. Water coming in. Water. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I don't know what. I'm just kind of like trying to adjust myself because I was uncomfortable. I don't know if a little bit of duct tape came unsealed or something. I had to real quick. It, it were only a tiny leak, but it was shooting it with a lot of power. I had to be as quick as I could to seal the thing. Oh, that was scary. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. <laughs> this is stupid. This was stupid. I should have done it. <laughs> It's night time again. It's night time. It's pitch black. It's just me here. It's just. It's just me. I need some sleep. Fuck. We've just hit land. I'm sure we've just hit land. We've just hit land. I think there's people. I think there's people outside. Oh. Um, so the police, the 
French police were here. No joke. The actual police. And I'm in France. I'm in France. I'm in France. This box is heavy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to have to leave it. I'm just going to have to leave my box here and try and find my way back. I ain't not got no passport. I can't believe the actual police were here. So I'm just going to leave my box here. So I just found like the nearest town. There's signs and stuff, but I can't read anything. I can't read anything. What, what the hell is an auberge? Auberge? Out Rio? What's a porto? I can't read, I don't know French. There's a train line, I think I best follow that. I'll just follow the train line and see where that takes me. So I managed to find my way to a train station. Gare de Boulogne, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. From here I should be able to get over, over back into England, up back near Sheffield to where I live. I actually smell so bad right now. No joke, it smells so bad. I've not been able to clean my teeth. I've not been able to shower. I've been sitting in wee wee pretty much. So yeah, I've got my bank card in my bag. I'm wet through, my trousers are still wet. My shoes are still squelching when I'm walking. Anyway, my GoPro is running low on battery right now. So I'm just gonna try and take as many photos as I can. I'm gonna post them over on my Instagram account. So if you wanna keep up to date, with how I got home and whatever. Link in the description below to my Instagram account or here's my username or whatever. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm never doing anything like this again because this was just stupid as hell. Please, I think this deserves a like. Leave a comment. I'll see you all in my next video.